One sector of the economy being hit especially hard is the travel industry, with airfares, hotels, and car rentals seeing some of the biggest increases. But there is one bit of good news for international air travelers. After the Biden administration announced today that it's dropping its COVID-19 test requirement to enter the U.S. Here's CBS's Chris Van Cleve. The nation's airlines have been lobbying the Biden administration for weeks to drop the COVID testing requirement, hoping to speed up the recovery of international travel and tourism. We've come a long way with the pandemic now, and that will ease the flow of people, you know, in and out of the states. Here at home, Americans are hitting the road in the largest number since the pandemic began. Tatiana White's high school graduation brought family from across the country to Florida. But Belinda and Adon Ramos from Maryland are feeling vacation inflation. How much more is this going to cost than you thought it would? <laughs> at least double. You think it's at least double? Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty much it's going to be like about 4500 bucks. Domestic airfare is costing flyers 34% more than 2019. Airbnb prices are up over 11% this year, while the average hotel room costs 40 bucks more per night than last summer. And rental cars have soared a stunning 70% during the pandemic. Sally French from NerdWallet. If you are taking a trip this summer, you should certainly expect to pay more. NerdWallet also found dining out costs 7.2% more than it did last year. Now, inflation concerns are prompting nearly half of Americans to reduce travel or cut their vacation budget. Sean Sherman says the cost of fuel put the brakes on a family road trip. So I just said, look, we're, we're putting it on the back burner for now, and it broke some hearts, but that's the reality. So what can you do? Book early and be flexible with your travel dates and times. Also, think about flipping how you plan this trip and start with the rental car, then find the airfare and the hotel. And when it comes to rental cars, it's almost always cheaper to book downtown than here at the airport. Nora? I didn't know that. Chris Van Cleve, thank you so much.